Our fourth presenter today is Blue Martin. Her title is Development and Modeling of Multiskill Continuous High Gradient Magnetophoretic Separator for Malaria Infected Red Blood Cells. Welcome. <coughs> What if I told you I could help save half a million lives a year using refrigerator magnets? This sounds crazy, right? Well, it all begins with the deadliest creature in the world, the mosquito. Almost 300 million people were infected with malaria in 2013, with half a million of them perishing. A typical victim would be like Malachi, a young Gambian boy. He'll be infected between three to five times a year. The mosquito will bite him, the parasite will go to his liver, and then his red blood cells, which will become sticky and then eventually split open. He will likely die from coma, anemia, or stroke. So, what are his options? Well, if he's fortunate enough not to get a drug-resistant malaria strain that's becoming more prevalent, he can take two drugs. One, which overdose leads to deadly heart failure. The other, a family like his will be unlikely to be able to afford. He can also get a blood transfusion and try to flush the parasites out of his system. But developing countries often don't have donor blood available, and there's a high transfection risk with it. So people have no options. But there is another way. When the parasite infects the red blood cell, it makes it attracted to magnets. And my research capitalizes on this unique property. There are plenty of published devices that concentrate malaria-infected red blood cells for research purposes. Most of them include micron-scale metal elements in a strong magnetic field in order to selectively pull these cells out and concentrate them. However, all of them have a low throughput and are timely and costly to make. So I sought to create a cheap benchtop fabrication method to make a comp continuous separator where I can easily change the flow path geometry and magnetic field design so I could quickly optimize the separation of these target cells. I'm able to design and make one of these in two hours, and I can visualize the separation in real time under a microscope. Then, I can take this optimized design and apply it to a scaled-up system for treatment, like formalicure. And this is empheresis. <clears throat> Each unit is the size and thickness of an iPhone. The blood flows in over a bed of ferromagnetic wires on an array of strong external permanent magnets. The infected cells are pulled to the bottom, skimmed off, and discarded, while the filtered blood is returned to the patient. My preliminary experiments show that I'm able to remove up to 20% of these infected cells on the first pass in, with conditions similar to a severely infected patient. The units are stackable in different combinations so that I can maximize the throughput and filtration efficiency while minimizing the amount of blood that is wasted from the patient. My research shows great potential to be developed into a treatment system that is similar to, but cheaper than dialysis. So, someday, I could help cure someone like Malik, who has no options left. Thank you. <laughs>